couple of days ago here on the morning show, we had our next guest up who had such an impressive array of things. I wanted to bring him back to you and introduce you to uh, Chris Beasley. And Chris is the president of Jalic. Did I get it right? Yes. Jalic Blades over in Red Bank. And you can take a look at some of the stuff that Chris has brought here on display this morning. And a couple of things that make Chris's company, Jalic, very unique. Tell me about your association with Game of Thrones. So back in 2006, I was just a retailer of this uh, kind of product, and mm -hmm. I contacted George R. R. Martin, who's the author of Game of Thrones, and I said, "The author of the author of Game of Thrones, one of the most popular authors, the most successful authors in the world." And I asked him if I could uh, make swords from his books, mm -hmm. and he actually didn't have a lot going on at the time, and he agreed, and I had to pay him in advance, but I, I got the rights to do that. And three months later. HBO optioned his books for the TV show, wow. and then you know they had development, and Game of Thrones came out on the air. So I was able to use my relationship with George mm -hmm. to get in with HBO. So from the beginning of the show, I've worked with HBO, and what we do is we make prop replicas of the props on the show. And you are the only company that is licensed to do that. Yes, I have worldwide exclusivity to do that. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. What is your most popular Game of Thrones related replica? This here is Longclaw, mm -hmm. and it is a sword of Jon Snow, who's a very popular character. He's also a very short actor, so he wears it on his hip, and because he's only about 5'5", five five, right. it's like this on him. <laughs> and so every scene he's in, you see this product. It right. gets more screen time than anything else we do. And so we've sold almost 20,000 units of these. 20,000? Which though. is really good. And I think for swords, this is probably the best-selling sword in the world right now. Mm -hmm. And, and how much, for many things. What, what's, the, what's the weight on this? This one's about six pounds. Oh, so it's Which, a lot lighter than the yeah, it doesn't, earlier one. It doesn't one. seem like a lot, but if you're going to be swinging that for a half hour to save oh, yeah. your life, no, you know, your, your arms are going to get tired. Yeah, no, all right, what's the next up? This one uh, that you have here that is... This beautiful red sword is called Oathkeeper, and this was designed by George R. R. Martin, not by HBO. Mm -hmm. So we still work with George, and this is what we call is a book-licensed product. Um, so it comes with George's autograph, um, but it has nothing to do with HBO. And in his books, this sword has a red blade. And so we did this out of Damascus steel, which has a wood grain kind of pattern mm -hmm. in the metal, which is like a natural occurrence when you mix two steels together. Right. It makes it very expensive. It makes it very beautiful. So this one uh, retails for $500. But it's a limited edition. It comes with George R. R. Martin's autograph, and it's very unique with the red finish on the blade. All right. We only have a couple of minutes left. Tell me about the one I was holding during the opening of the show. And this is a monster. This is ice. Ice? It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the sword that you would have seen at the um, uh, posters and the DVD box cover right. for season one of the show. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they melt it down, and they make two swords out of it. It's so big. But it remains one of our top three sellers, even though you haven't seen it in a number of years now. And I like it because of the size. It's just so big, it's a statement piece. Yeah, <laughs> it is that, among other things. You also have a couple of non, uh, actually a great deal of non-Game of Thrones related things in the store. You, pretty much anything with a blade, you've got. Yeah, we, uh, we bought this building over in Red Bank, and it had this large showroom, but our products wouldn't fill it. So we retail a bunch of other products that we don't make. Mm -hmm. uh, knives, throwing knives, tactical gear. This is kind um, of a katanas. unique piece. Tell me about this one. Uh, this is just a fantasy dagger designed by Gil Hibben, who's a famous knife designer. Some mm -hmm. of his designs have been used in Rambo movies, right. and they've been used in Star Trek films. Um, and he just does these really fancy kind of more artistic than right. functional knives. And I uh, want to end this on a, uh, we only got a few seconds left. This was something you said that um, a guy by the name of Sylvester Stallone had a little bit of an input on. He right? did. So uh, the most recent Rambo movie, Gil Hibben was hired because he had always done the Rambo knives to make a knife for that movie. And he made this knife and Sylvester Stallone did not like it because he said it was too fancy, mm -hmm. uh, though I think it's pretty impressive. So he made yeah. a version of this, the same shape and everything, just really, really crude and kind of dirty looking. Right. And that's the one they used in the film. And this one they just uh, wow. sold under a different name. And you can find this and so many other items at uh, Chris's store, which is over in Red Bank. A lot of people are getting into the popular sport of knife throwing now. You can help them out. You've got there's DVDs, there's books, there's all sorts of materials when it comes to everything knife related. Chris, I want to thank you so much for coming and spending a few moments with us. Uh, here in a little bit, we're going to get you to tell us a story about the big mask here. Okay. But you're going to have to hold off on that for a moment because we have to take a quick break. Can you imagine getting, I, just, I can't. I, I, yeah, no kidding. Uh, if you want to find out more about Chris and what's happening in Red Bank, their address is 2011 Dayton Boulevard, the former 
building for Eccles Furniture. 508-8841 and the website there on your screen. Stick around, we have more of Let's Chat right after this.